and welcome back. It is a Tuesday that's going to feature temperatures likely topping out in the 70s. Last year, I was looking at the record book and or last year's climate book, and we also hit 70s at this date last year. Kind of a warm time up here, or a warm time of year, apparently. Uh, Holland Live View, you can see uh, clear conditions out there for the most part. It's a little on the breezy side. Temperature out there, 62 degrees. Now, a reminder that our lows this time of year are in the 40s. Uh, Live View, Muskegon, also uh, right around 60 degrees. 61, as a matter of fact. A little bit cooler inland, but even inland areas at 48 in Lansing and 50 in Grand Rapids is <laughs> quite a mild morning for this time of year. How much warmer are we compared to yesterday at the same time? A solid 20 degrees warmer in Grand Rapids. Look at this, close to 30 degrees in Holland and also Muskegon. So what a remarkable turnaround and one of the main reasons why we have the south wind out there that's going to remain with us right now through the rest of the day and on the breezy side probably a good solid 10 to 20 miles an hour off to the west of us you can see a clustering of some showers and thunderstorms that those will continue the track to the east northeast and should stay north of us but in a nutshell if you're traveling to the north especially big rapids north where you have a chance certainly more clouds and also a better chance of some showers and thunderstorms some of those as they roll into northern parts of the state could be a little bit on the strong side we'll pick Pick it up at 9 o'clock this morning. That's where uh, showers and thunderstorms should be. Traverse City over to Alpena, over to the Gaylord area, and those will continue north. Uh, it looks like that cold front is going to stop its progress and head north as a warm front, and that's going to keep us on the mild side right on through today and also tomorrow. Here's what it looks like for our next chance of rain should arrive around midnight and thereafter, so we'll make it through the evening hours dry. If you want to rake up those leaves, you should be fine for this afternoon, and eventually we'll have that chance of rain, especially especially for the first half of Wednesday. And then as we head into Thursday and Friday, we'll continue with that chance of showers. Could even see a thunder shower in the uh, Thursday time frame. I think right now, cooler and dry on Saturday, back to showers the tail end of the weekend. Look at the cool air pouring in for next week. So whatever warmth we have this week, enjoy it. It's not gonna last. Tom? All right, clear and dry conditions out there for us on this Tuesday morning as we take a live look in downtown Grand Rapids. This is the US 131 Ford Freeway Interchange. Again, in downtown, you can see clear and dry out there and light traffic volumes for the time being as uh, folks make their way out the door. Uh, taking a look at the freeways heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. If you are getting ready to uh, head out right now, you can see lots of green on our map, meaning drivers able to move along at those posted speed limits right now. Uh, so no significant delays uh, for you. Uh, uh, just yet this morning. As we expand the view and take a look at all the freeways in around West Michigan, the good traveling conditions continue. So no matter where you are right now, everything running on time. I'll have another traffic update for you in about 15 minutes.